Five women's lacrosse players at UMBC won't practice or play for the time being for what they allegedly did off the field. The university is investigating what it terms potential threats made against freshman players. The 11 News I team's Barry Sims is live at UMBC tonight in Catonsville. And Barry, understand this involves statements made on social media. Is that correct? Yes, Dan and Donna, that is correct. And it was a private chat, but now it has implications for the women's lacrosse team. We're told that the coaches brought this to the attention of the university staff. And also, the university staff promises that the investigation will focus on the dynamics of the entire program. These five University of Maryland Baltimore County lacrosse players are suspended. The university's athletic director says it is because of their actions. It was conduct that was detrimental to the team for your violation of team rules, and that's why they've been suspended indefinitely. This is what allegedly got the women into trouble a private group chat on social media. It was made public, an anonymous source calling it an extreme situation at UMBC, stating concern for the safety of freshman women on the Retrievers lacrosse team. We take any type of um, potential safety issue very serious. And the student athletes are uh, at the center of what we do here, and their safety is paramount. And Some of the comments, let's start an expletive, the freshman chant. Some of the responses, no, no, you can't say those kinds of words to them yet. Their ears are too young for those kinds of words, and I'm going to curse all of them out. Let's just threaten them. Can we just kill them? And I'll pitch in. Also, during the chat, a player states to take down the coaches and kill the freshmen. Another posts this picture with the words, down with freshmen. We pride ourselves as both an institution and an athletic department um, as one that treats everyone with respect and honor and dignity and civility. And if we think that there are breaches in, or potential breaches in respect, honor, dignity, and civility, we have to ensure that the appropriate safety measures are in place so we can get to the bottom of what was really happening. We asked if there were any other indications of possible abusive behavior or threats, and if, just like these five student athletes, others from the team could face suspension. The AD would not comment on that. Could there be other action taken besides suspension? I can't speak to that at this time. The women's lacrosse team has five wins and three losses. According to UMBC, the five players who were suspended were suspended this past Wednesday and did not participate in the last two competitions. Reporting live from Catonsville, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.